Hey everybody, this is Glenn Tribitz from Hollywood Piano. And today we have a very serious video that's about what's going on in the world today with the coronavirus COVID-19. And we've gotten calls from concerned piano teachers, from schools, from some churches, uh, from people who have multiple people in a home that play the piano, restaurants, etc. And the question is, how do we disinfect our piano keys? That might sound a little funny, but remember, the keys can contain viruses, germs, just like any other surface. So you have to go through some precautions to clean it. First, I would say if you're a piano teacher or a school or a church and you have people coming in for lessons, make sure that they wash their hands really good before they put their hands on the piano. Also, make sure you have some sanitizer right there by the piano. So if somebody coughs or sneezes, you don't have to necessarily run to the bathroom and wash their hands, but you can put a little sanitizer on there. We have to take every precaution possible. So when we're talking about how to clean and disinfect keys, we have to be very careful. You know, keys are made of multiple materials. Uh, they can be ivory, they can be plastic, they can be cellulose, they can be ebony. And if you use a very harsh product, you can damage them. Also, if you wet them too much, especially for porous keys like wood ebony sharps, which are tropical woods, you can damage the wood if you have an older piano with ivory keys. Well, with too much water, you can warp ivory. You can loosen the glue that's underneath. So in order to really protect your piano, you have to do it in a very methodical way. So first thing is you're gonna need certain materials like white vinegar, water. I like to use a spray bottle, microfiber cloth, cheesecloth. So why are we using these particular materials? Well, you could use liquid soap and water, but I prefer vinegar from the standpoint of disinfecting. You can't use a commercial disinfectant on piano keys, but you can use vinegar judiciously. And so the, the method is you either make up a batch and dab, or you put it into a spray container. So how do you make up the cleaning solution? Well, it's a very simple formula. So the solution is one part vinegar to two parts water. For our purposes here, I took one cup of water and one half cup of white vinegar, mix it together in this measuring cup and put it into this spray bottle. Lightly spray the cheesecloth with the solution. Don't over wet the cloth. We don't want too much water on the keys. Also, it's very important, don't use any colored cloths. If you're using a colored cloth with this solution, some of the color might go onto your keys and you might not ever be able to get them out. So if you don't have a cheesecloth and you're using say an old t-shirt or something else that's very, very soft, make sure it's only white. First, dry wipe your keys with a microfiber cloth like this. If you're doing this on a digital piano, make sure it's unplugged. Or if it's a keyboard, make sure there are no batteries in it. Okay, so here's the procedure for cleaning the keys. First, get some cardboard and cut it so you're going to need two different sizes, one for the black keys and one for the white keys. And this is to prevent the water or the moisture to even get close to the wood. So we're going to start cleaning the keyboard from the very lowest key. And we're going to clean like this. You have to rub the keys from back to front. Why from back to front? Well, we don't want to push any dirt, dust, or germs back into the piano. We want to pull it out. So we're going to do it just like this. The best advice is do one octave of keys at a time. 
after you wipe down the keys with the moistened cheesecloth, take a piece of dry cheesecloth and dry the key immediately. If the cheesecloths, both the wet and the dry, start getting a little bit dark, dirty, etc., cut another piece of cheesecloth and throw those pieces away. Once you've gone all the way from the very bottom note to the top note, wipe down the fronts of your keys starting from the very lowest note with that same solution drying right after you're wiping down. Give the entire piano a final go over with the dry cloth to get any remaining moisture off. First, there's some important things you cannot do. Don't use any scouring powder, any bleach, or any scouring pads on the piano. You're gonna dull or scratch the piano. Don't overwet the cheesecloth. If you do, you might potentially have some water liquid drip between the keys and damage the keys. Keys are very, very sensitive to moisture. One more important thing, don't clean your keys by wiping them side to side. If you do, you risk changing the alignment of the keys and also putting dust between the keys, which could cause them to stick. So that's a big no-no. Now, after you're done the whole process, there's a fantastic product you can get from us or from other sellers. It's called Keybrite. And with this product, again, spray it on a bit of cheesecloth. You can shine up your keys and get them nice and bright and shiny again. So I hope this has helped you understand how you can safely clean and sanitize your keys. This is Glenn Tribitz for Hollywood Piano saying bye for now.